Hello, right, we're going to spend a little bit of time just doing another handworks example of solving a frame graphically. Slightly more complex one than we did before. So let's do something like this. And we've got our reaction forces there, and we've got our ropes there. And let's make that, I don't know, 15 and 30. Okay. Hopefully you can see that. So what's the first thing we need to do? Well, the first thing we need to do is we need to draw a slightly more accurate uh, space diagram. So let's do that. Again, we've got my 30, uh, 30, 60 set square. So obviously this corner is 60, this corner is 30 degrees, and that's a right angle there. So just like before, we're going to draw a nice line across our paper. Come up at pieces. That's the right way around. There we go. That's what we want. We're going to come up at 60. Just give ourselves a bit of space there. Up at 60. And then, oops, I mean, we're going to come down at 60. We're going to come up at 60. So through there. I'm going to come down at 60 on the other side. Okay, so there's our space diagram done somewhat more accurately than previously. So there's our 30 newtons. There's our 15 newtons. Rub that line out just to avoid confusion. Okay, and then of course we've just got our reaction forces. I'm just going to drag my uh, protractor back into use there. And R2. Oh. Right, so where do we go for this? Well, we put our Bose notation in. So we start between our reaction forces A, B, C, D. E, F, G, so I do know my alphabet. Right, so there we are. So what do we do? We start with what we know. So we've got 15 newtons and we've got 30 newtons. Okay, so I'm thinking let's do that half scale if we can manage that. So 15, so that's going to be 7.5. So we'll do that over here. Let's just draw our line paper there. So we'll start here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a half is there. So that's from there to there. Let's give that an arrow so we make it a vector. Okay, and then we've got 30. So that's going to be an extra 15, isn't it? So let's just move that up. So yeah, it's going to be quite big, isn't it? But you know, I've got space. So that's okay. And then just check that we're on the same line there. Right, so that's all the way down to the bottom there. Okay, so that's my 15, 15 newtons, and that's my 30 newtons. So just so that we keep track. All right, um, so let's apply our Bose notation to this. So we've got B to C. So we go B, B. C, C, around to D. C, around to D. Okay. Hopefully that's nice and clear. Okay. Now, so we've got B, C, and D. 15 and 30 newtons. So now we pick our origin point and we'll pick somewhere about there. So let's just make that a point. So I'm going to pick that point there. And then I'm going to draw my lines to the start and the end of each vector. So let me just make sure that we need to put B in the right place there, don't we? That's where we made that little mark. So there's B. Okay. Yeah, just 
so we don't forget. Okay, um, there's our next vector in mind. Okay. There we go. And finally, our final line is just there. Okay. Right, so we've got our three lines. So now we need to put in some construction lines. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do that dotted so that you can see them clearly and we know what's going on. And that's just construction lines for where we've got the forces. Okay, we don't do we don't do construction lines for joints, we don't do construction lines. Or anything else. It's just where we've got the forces. Okay. All right. So one force, two force, three forces. We notice we don't do anything there. We don't do a construction line for this point here. It's just where we've got our forces. Okay. So first off, then let's do this. What's going to be the best way to do this? I'm going to turn my protractor upside down. It there. I'm going to show my 90 degrees lines up so that I'm vertical. Okay, and I am going to come up around this way, which puts me at an angle of. Hmm, that's not right, is it? What am I doing wrong here? Ah, there, silly me. It's not the zero, is it? It's that little dot there. There we are. That's better, isn't it? So 50, 60. One, two, sixty-three. Okay. So again, I'm just going to put in a quick construction line here, just a vertical line, so I can check that I'm using my protractor correctly. Okay. So again, I'm lining that horizontal up and the vertical up there. So fifty, sixty, one, two, three, sixty-three degrees. Okay. So we'll take that down from that point through there. Okay, and that's my next interest just there. Okay. Right, next up, we've got, so that's this line here. Okay. All right, so I've just marked that parallel. So this line here, I'm going to do that with three lines. Okay. So again, I'm going to measure, measure downwards from that point. Okay, so let's put that point on there. I'm using my 90 degree line here to check I'm vertical and also that line going down there. Okay, try to be as accurate as possible. That's 40, 5, 6, 7 and a half. 47.5. Okay, so I might just extend that line down a little bit just for construction purposes. So we'll just do that. Just there. So let's hmm. Okay, you can see the inaccuracy is creeping in already, can't you? Excellent. Um, I think I need glasses. Five, six, seven, and just between them brings us to there. So gives us that and that comes all the way down to this construction line just here so that's to there okay and then finally so that's one two three just to keep us in track and then one two three four uh, will be our final line. So final line, let's just move that out of the way. Oopsie daisy. It says nearly taking the tripod out. Okay. And our final line then is 10, 20, 30, 
five, six, 36 degrees. Okay. So I'm just going to line that up there like so. so marks about that. Okay. 10, 20, 35, 6 degrees. From there. To there. Okay. And we'll just bring that construction line down again with the explosions. Uh, there we are. Right, so we've keep, kept all our lines parallel there. So let's just mount that up as one, two, three, four, just so that we've got a bit of a visual indication as to what's going on. Now we take our line from the start, from the end, sorry, right back to the start there. And this one I'm going to mark one, two, three, four. Uh, and we take that parallel line back through our origin point just there. Okay, so let's do that. Um, I'm going to do it this way because why not? Make sure we've got our 90 degrees lined up. Okay, and we are 10, 20, 30, 41, 42. Okay, so let's move here. I'm just going to use my ruler there to provide a, a straight edge. Um, okay, might be worth drawing some construction lines in your case. Uh, okay, 41, 2, okay, there we go, and then we'll just use our set square there as a, as a straight edge to help guide us. There we go. Right, so we've now found point A, okay, so that's point A, and that is equivalent to here. So if we look, we go from D to A, well, D past R2. So that means that from D to A is R2. Okay. And then from A to B, A cross R1 to B is R1. So from A to B is R1. Okay. So let's measure those and find out what our... find out what we've got. So let's put another one there. So going up to A is 14, 15, 145 millimeters. So 45 millimeters and going up to here. 145 was 135. Did I manage to take the? That's uh, 135 because I started at one, isn't it? Yes. 135 millimeters, and going from here, make sure we remove the one. Is 10. So 102 millimeters. Okay. Two millimeters. So one, two. Right. Okay. So what does that translate as? Well, 102 millimeters. That was 15 newtons, and we did that at seven and a half centimeters. So that's 10.2 centimeters. So that's going to make uh, 20.4 newtons. Okay. So 20. Just get an eraser here. R1 equals 20.4 newtons, uh, and we said that was 135, so 13.5 centimeters um, would be 26, 27 newtons. Okay, so 27 newtons. So obviously we've got a little bit of inaccuracy. Um, 15 plus 30 should give us 45, uh, and that's not quite what we've got, is it? Um, we've got 47. So we might have to fudge things slightly. I mean, that should be crikey, 7.5. That was 15. That was first. We should have 45 newtons, but what we've got is 47 newtons. So um, what did we say that was? Let's just check that again. Uh, 
14.5. That's 14.5, 13.5, sorry, that's 13.5 centimeters. Uh, that gives us 26, 27 newtons, doesn't it? 27 newtons. Um, and that's, ah, sorry, there we are. I missed the one off again. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, nine, so that's nine, so that's 18. So what does that give us? So that's 18 centimeters. Did I get that right? Yes, nine. That's 18 centimeters, he says. So, nine centimeter, good grief, Steve, come on. Nine centimeters, which equals 18 newtons. There we are. That's a bit more accurate, isn't it? Come on, grief. Right, so uh, that gives us 27, 37, uh, plus 8, um, 46, 45, which is what we want. Okay, so we'll take those values because they add up to 45, which is 15 plus 30. Yes. Good. So, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, fifteen. Good. Right. So we got there eventually. Yeah, just got to make sure. Careful with that measuring wheel. So, what we know then is that R one. Well, I'll just put that there then. R one equals eighteen newtons, and R two equals equals twenty seven. Newtons. Okay. All right. So we found our reaction forces. So now we're going to build up from this and find out what's in compression and what's in tension. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to zoom in. I'm going to just number my joints now. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to zoom in on joint one. So I'm just going to draw a very quick sketch up here that tells me what's going on at joint one. 18 newtons, 60 degrees, and our Bose notation is A, B, and E. All right. As we discussed online, you don't have to do that Bose notation. Let's just see if we can put that on the right way. Okay. Um, you don't have to do that Bose notation, but you know I find it helpful. You might find it helpful. You don't have to do that zoomed in view. Sorry, I find it helpful. You might find it helpful. Okay. So what do we do? Well, we move around so that we get the light back. Come on, let there be light. And there was. Okay. It makes it easy to see what's happening, doesn't it? Right. And we draw. That 18 newtons okay now we could if we wanted if we get a pen and paper pencil and paper and we could draw 18 newtons to scale yeah so we could draw that nine centimeters yeah nine centimeters okay and we could use our Bose notation to say that's a to b okay a to b Right, and then we could say, well, our next line is BE, and we could get our ruler, and we could draw a 60 degree line uh, BE, and we could say our next line is E to A, and we could draw a horizontal line through, and we could do all that nicely to scale, and then we could measure our lines as a separate diagram. And if if that works for you, and that's you know, I'm happy for you to do that. Okay, uh, but say you know things get. You know, it's just focusing on the one thing at the time, and that's fine. Okay, so, I'm, but I'm going to build it up over here. And I'm going to find, probably find, I've shot myself in the foot because I'm not actually going to have enough space to do everything without trying to, without starting to come over this bit of my diagram. But let's find out, shall we? Right, because we've already done A to B. A to B is right here. So let's put a, let's put an arrow on there for A to B. So we're going up to there. 
So V to E, we're coming down at 60 degrees. So I'm going to use the window that is my 60 degree set square. Uh, and I'm going to draw a line through there. And yeah, I'm so going to go over there, aren't I? Yeah, what can I do about that? Probably nothing. Just gets a bit messy, doesn't it? Um, Right, okay, so bear with me. It's just going to be a little bit messy because we're going to end up uh, coming all the way over here. Did I come out at 60? Have I got the right 60 degrees? It's a 60 degree cut. I've not got the right 60 degrees. Let's find out. I'm coming up. No, I've not. I've done the 30 degree corner. See how easy it is to make a mistake. Really? That's 30 degrees. You know what? It's baking me head. I'm going to do it with a protractor. So, what we want is that 60 degrees there. Yeah, so that's that 60 degrees there. So if we extended that, that would be the same as that 60 degrees there. Uh, is that helpful to you? Yes, it is. So we can put that there like that. Yeah, and then we can come round and down that 60 degrees. So we can come round and get that in there again. Let's make sure that's as accurate as we can get it. 60 degrees. Okay, so what would I be doing? Not that corner, no. Right. Ah, that makes life considerably easier. Yeah, because that's BE, so it's our 60 degree line, and must go through point B. And we can just check that we've got that right. I've got a horizontal line there. There we go. That's the correct 60 degrees, isn't it? Happy days. Okay, and then we've got B, uh, sorry, EA. Well, that's a horizontal line through A. Okay. So there's our point A, there's our horizontal line, and so we've now found point E. Okay, there's point E. All right, so now we can measure these lines and we can find the forces in these lines. Mm -hmm. So let's go from there. That's I'm trying to keep my head out of the way of the camera. Oh, crikey, what's going on? There we are. Whew. I thought I'd dock something then. Um, so that's 10 point. Five, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get my head out of the camera. Ten point five. Okay, so that's ten point five centimeters. We're working at a scale of two to one, so that's uh, twenty twenty one newtons. Okay, twenty one newtons. And then we follow the arrows around. So we're going up, we're coming down to there, and we're going that way. Okay. So let's take these arrows back around our joint, back around the joint, there's our joint here. Right, and if we take that back to our space diagram, if you imagine we just zoom out in AutoCAD, our arrows remain in the same place. And so we have a reaction force there, and a reaction force there. Okay, so we've got 21 Newtons, that's in compression. Okay, and we've got uh, what have we got? What have we got? What have we got? We've got 6.5 newtons, and that's in tension. Okay, right, so that's that joint completed now. We can't do joint five because there's still we know one thing, but there's still one, two, three things we don't know. Uh, we could do joint four. We can't do joint three because there's one there's one thing we know, but one, two, three things we don't know. But we can do joint two. Okay, so joint two we've got one or two things we know and one, two things we don't know. So we're going to just zoom in on joint two now. Okay, so joint two we've got. So I'm just looking at this joint now. We've got 21 newtons coming up there. Okay, 
we've got 15 coming down and then we've got two things we don't know about okay right and that's our joints here that's our zoom joint here and again we could draw all this to scale we could do the 60 coming up yeah, and we could set both Bo's notation. That's what we need, isn't it? Bo's notation. Let's put our angles in there. And our Bo's notation. Never forget our Bo's notation. So we've got B, we've got C, we've got F, and we've got E. Okay. Um, so you know we could draw that to scale coming up there at 21, going that way, and that would be E to B. To B, and then we've got B to C coming down, and we could draw that to scale. Yeah, B to C, and that so that would be 21. Obviously, I've not done it to scale because that would be longer than this one. Um, and that would be 15. And then you know we can say right, our next line is a horizontal line C to F. So we draw a horizontal line C to F, and then we draw F to E, a line at 60 degrees down from the vertical. Yeah, and that goes through F and E. So that would go through there, and then we've got, yeah, we've got our one, two, three, yeah. So we've got our try and we've got our polygon there. It might look something like that. Okay. So we could do that. You know, that's again, if you want to do them all separately, that's an entirely valid way of working. I'm going to continue to fill out this monstrosity here because I've drawn it once and I can't be bothered drawing it again, if I'm honest. So let's start. We'll go from E to B. So E to B. Yeah, that's going up that way. So we put our arrow in so we know what we're doing. Okay. B to B. So B to C. It's a horizontal line. And also B to C is our 15 down. Okay, well we've already got that, haven't we? B to C. 15 newtons there coming down. We've already got that line there. C to F is a horizontal line. So we can put that in, can't we? We can put C to F in. Yeah. And we're not entirely sure which way that's going to go. C to F. F to E is a line at 60 degrees. Okay, so we know where E is. E is here. We've already done that before. So that must mean we come up there like that. Okay, and that becomes point F. Okay, and then we've got to follow this one round. So we go up, we go down, we come along, and then we come down that way. I'll put my arrow there, otherwise I'm going to go over my, my head. So we take these arrows back onto our space down here. So that's C to F, C to F goes that way, and F to E goes this way. Okay, so now we've got our zoomed in view. Let's come back here. And see what we get. So we put that arrow there again, my number two is in the way, and we put that arrow there. Okay, so reaction forces, reaction forces. So C is in compression, and F is surprisingly in tension. Okay, and then we can just measure these lines to find out what the forces are. So this is E to F I'm going to measure now. Um, so that's three centimeters, two centimeters, of course it is. Two centimeters, so that's eight newtons. Eight newtons in tension. And uh, C to F is our long line here. Uh, and that's. One, two, three, four, five, six point one, two, six point three. So twelve point six. So that's twelve point six newtons in compression. Okay. So that's interesting. So now we've only got these one, two, three lines left. Okay. Now because we've got forces here which are affecting that joint there, then the tension in the the force in this joint uh, member, sorry, could be different in fact to this member here, okay? Because we've got these things acting uh, on that joint. So I don't know. Let's pick 
make a join any join it was not the joint I first thought of um, I mean, so we've got we've got two more to do really uh, to find out everything so let's pick joint four because that's an easy way to go um, okay let's pick joint four because that's an easy way to go um, right so joint four let's zoom in on joint four so we've got joint four coming down there uh, got joint four there okay and we know that that is 27 newtons we know that that is 60 degrees because everything is 60 degrees here um, and our Bose notation is D and G and A. Okay, so once more, and then we can quite happily draw things to scale. We say that that's 27, and we can label that D to A. So we start at D and we finish at A. And then we can say, well, A to G is horizontal, so we draw a horizontal line through point A. And then we can say G to D is at 60 degrees, so we draw a 60 degree line there through point D, and we find point G, and we measure everything off. Yeah, again, completely acceptable way to solve this. I'm going to carry on flogging away at this uh, wonderful hideousness because I can't be bothered drawing lines more than once. Okay, so what are we looking at? We are looking at, let's start with D to A. Well, D to A, we've already got that's this line here okay a to g is a horizontal line uh, a to g well, we've got a horizontal line there but let's let's just extend that in both directions because we're not entirely sure which way it goes so it's just a construction one a to g uh, g to d uh, have we got point d we've got point d point d is here uh, g to d is at 60 degrees so let's use this wonderful thing that is a 60 degree set square and let's take that line up and then let's extend that line. Uh, he says, let's just extend that line up to here. Right, okay, well, that's interesting. So we can extend this horizontal line now, and that must be point G, because that's the only point that we don't know, isn't it? There we go, there's point G. Okay. Okay, we've got G, D, A, G, D, A. So let's again follow this around. So D to A, D to A is going up. So A to G must be going this way. So A to G, so let's put that on there. And then coming around G down to D. Start at G, end at D, start at G, end at D. Must be going this way. Oops, a daisy. Must be going that way, yeah. So let's put that on there as well. Okay, let's feed that back onto our diagram. So we've got that reaction force there, which tells us it's in compression. And we've got that, sorry, around the joint that we're looking at, uh, which tells us that's in tension. Okay, so let's measure those forces. Um, okay, so let's just do that. Uh, that's 15.5. So that's this line here is 15.5 in compression so that will look at p okay and our horizontal line here is 8.7 oh it's not 15.5 is it no it's 31 i forgot to i forgot to double my uh forgot to apply my scale didn't i silly me right 30 31. 15.5. 31 newtons in compression. And then our horizontal line is 8.5, 8.7 centimeters. So that's 16, 17.4. 17 17.4 in tension. Okay. So we've got one unknown left, and that's here. Okay. So I think I'm going to do that by dealing with joint three. I think that's going to be easier to tackle than joint five. Okay. So if we deal with joint three now, so 
0.3 and up we go we're just zooming in again right uh, we've got that we've got that and we've got that so that's coming in that's coming in and that's the thing that we don't know so there's only one thing we don't know really okay so that's 31 and that was 12.6 see this uh, it's not really 12.6 is it c2f i've not doubled it i don't know it was okay hmm i think i've got myself confused somewhere let's have a look if that's c2f that's 7.3 so that's going to be 14 14.6, 14 14.6, 14 not 12. Okay, have I, have I got everything else correct? Up to E, up to E is going to be very short. Yeah, I've got myself terribly confused. Gosh, how confused am I? 2 times 2 is 4, not 8 newtons. Ah, dear. Hmm, that didn't work at all, did it? Four newtons. Let's see if we can clear that one out. <sighs> Goodness knows what I was thinking there. Very easy to get confused. Right, D to G. D to G. D to G is right, isn't it? That's. Can't even measure straight, can't we? 16 and a half, 32, 33 newtons. Okay, so E to E, B to E, 21 newtons. Yes, that looks about right, doesn't it? Seven. Somebody tell me what I was doing earlier, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, twenty-one, twenty, ten point five. Happy days. Good. <sighs> right, I'm not going mad. I'm not. Right, back to joint three after those slight corrections. Uh, we've got that. So we've got D, we've got G, we've got F, and we've got C. So again, once more, we might start by saying F to C, and we draw that to scale, then C to D, we draw that to scale, D to G, we draw that to scale, and then that would just leave us with F to G. So let's just label that up, C, D, G, and C to D, D to G. Come on, Steve, read your Bell's notation. I'm sure you're all shouting at home saying, you've got it wrong. F to C, F to C, C to D, C to D, D to G, D to G. There we go. And then, so our final line would be F, G. Sorry, G to F, um, which would be, hopefully, if we'd done it to scale, these two would, these two would link up like that. Okay. Yeah, and there's your point G. Okay. So obviously, we need to draw that to scale, but yeah, that would look something like that. So we're going to finish that using this here. So C. Let's start with F to C. We've got an F and we've got a C, and now that's going that way okay so we're, we're following this round now f to c c to d coming down okay c to d okay 
that's our, one of our original wires there, C to D. D to G, D up to G, so we're coming up this way from D to G. Okay, which means G to F, that's the only line that we've got to draw, is from G to F. And there we go, and that's going that way. So that's the only line that we need to measure, because it's the only thing we don't know, isn't it? F to G, G to F, right, G to F. Pull it down clockwise. Yes. Okay, so now we've just got that at two centimeters, which is another four newtons. Um, that gives us, if we pull that back from the joint, so that was joint three we were doing there. So we have a reaction force there, which means that that is in compression. And there we are. We have solved. We have solved our drawing with a few mistakes along the way, uh, but the method's sound, even if my measuring was inaccurate. I hope that was somewhat helpful. All right. Thank you very much.